we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Dinner was a huge hit. We did sheet pan, like vegetables and chicken sausage. And now it's arts and crafts time, apparently. I don't know how, how this got started. Eloise asked to do a craft. That's how it got started. You wanted to do a craft? So we pulled out a little pumpkin craft. Lindell had a bunch of confetti made from a while back. And so, I'm sorry, what was it? Okay. So they're just going to use that to make faces on pumpkins and they've gotten really good at using glue, which is cool. How this one? Oh, you want some glue on that one? Is the okay. snake the most classic of the animals when it comes to play -Doh? I It's got to be. Or would some would call it a worm? I'm pretty good I have at our You are? Yeah. Our craft room pretty organized here okay, for now. You know what I'm really having a hard time wrapping my head around is like not not having a room like this in any house we move to. We use this room, this room and the playroom we use more than any room in the house. I bet. I don't know how, yeah, I guess we would just make bedrooms also a craft room. I don't know how we're going to do it. I wanted to hop on here and just give everybody an update of like why the heck we get keep talking about the future and where the heck we're going. It's because at first we'll head to Pensacola, Florida. That's where flight school is. And that's a six month long program. So we should be there July to De uh, December, January ish. Those are a little bit flexible. And then for right now, we'll head to Oceana Naval Air Station, which is right there in Virginia Beach. So that's the plan for right now. That's what my leadership is telling me. Uh, that's the most likely place we're going to be stationed. We did find like a, a neighborhood suggestion or two neighborhood suggestions in Virginia. Yeah, Virginia Beach. I uh, probably reached, shouldn't say the name of the neighborhoods, but right. I reached out to the. Uh, the optometrist whose position I'm taking over. And so she gave me a couple of neighborhoods in Virginia Beach where you can drive your golf cart on the streets and go to restaurants and, and places. So we're gonna look there. Of course, it's really expensive. Uh, but did you already look? Yeah. Is there stuff for sale currently? That nothing that nothing that fits our bill. That's under like a million dollars. <laughs> so, hmm. we might not be living in that neighborhood. Daddy. I don't know. Daddy. We, we throw around the idea of a pool as well. I don't know. I think I'm pretty sold on that. It's just, it's going to be different because it'll be in another year and a half. So our lives right. are going to be different yeah. than they are now, than it is now. Right. So, it's hard to imagine what, what that will look like. But I do know that... Okay, make a when Brad's at work and I'm with all five, at this age, it would not be super enjoyable going to a pool. Until Ada and Ellie are proficient swimmers, which at this age, what I've gathered, and I may be wrong, but at two years old, they can't really swim. Well, I think they would be capable with lessons. Knowing, well, I feel like at... Hold on, honey, I'm making a snail. At their age... Swim, swimming skills would be more focused around survival, not swimming. I don't know that a two-year-old can efficiently swim across a pool. Yeah, I think they have to learn to float. Right, and it wouldn't be for another year yeah. Right. So. Oh, that's looking really good. Wow. What color is your snail? It's pink and stripes. Pink and stripes? It's really... Pretty. Hey Ada, what color are your scissors? 
Yep. What color is your shirt? Uh, ghost. Ghost. <laughs> ghost colored. <laughs> uh, it's black. Black and And a skirt. Yep. What color is your skirt? Pink. What color is your skirt? Your underskirt's pink. Oh. Oh, what yeah, she has two skirts on. Mm. What color is that? Yeah. Ooh, bear, I like his mouth. How'd you do that? Don't know, I just Oh. I didn't make mine have black cat ears. Little. Here's my smell. That's adorable. Today was kind of a catch-up day. I'm Try not to leave the room with stuff that goes in here. Today was a catch-up day, just trying to get stuff back where it goes and get caught up on laundry. Even though we did a couple of loads in the RV, it was still just, we weren't behind on laundry before the power went out. So that really set us up for failure in the laundry department. So we did two or three loads when we got home. We had a lot of towels from the pool and stuff and from the RV. Um, so I did several, actually I need to check on the laundry. I don't know where it's at right now. And then Lyndall had dance today. We had school to catch up on. We haven't done school since last, what day was it that the hurricane? I think it was Thursday night. So the last day of school we did was Thursday. So we missed, I guess we only missed one day. We may not have done school on Thursday though. Um, so anyway, we had some catching up to do on stuff like that. We did like one and a half lessons in school, which is really, that's the, the beauty of it is doing multiple lessons in one day in school when we need to catch up is very, very feasible. And that makes, that makes it worthwhile because I don't feel stressed when we're in the RV or doing something and we miss a couple of days of school. It doesn't stress me out because I know it's really easy to get caught back up. <laughs> What's the title of the book? What's the name of the book? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, there was substantial flooding. Oh. 